with my pinstripe pants. Yes. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, this is gonna be a very fun vlog because I am holding a stall at Hunter Markets tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I have probably about four bin bags worth of stuff to sell. Um, I had a big, big wardrobe cull a few weeks ago. I thought I would take you along to the market and show you the whole experience. If any of you live in Melbourne or Victoria or <clears throat> I guess wider Australia um, and you are into thrifting, I would 100% recommend coming down to markets. Um, it's on every weekend, every Saturday, Sunday, just to give you a bit of context. I actually used to work there up until last year. It's so much fun, it's such a vibe. It's gonna be a very early start tomorrow morning. I have to be there for seven and it's a bit of a drive, so it's gonna probably still be dark tomorrow morning by the time we set off. Chris is very kindly driving me early in the morning. Um, so I thought I would just introduce the video today while it's daylight and um, I'm awake. Because <laughs> I feel like tomorrow morning I'm not gonna be with it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be a very fun vlog. It's always such a good atmosphere in the markets and everyone's so friendly and so lovely. And yeah, I can't wait. Um, I will quickly show you the situation in the spare room where I'm keeping all my stuff. <laughs> so it's very dark in here, so ignore this lighting, but here are three bags full of stuff all folded up. Um, I've got some shoes and coats and a few other bits and bobs here that I'm still kind of collecting. I keep going into my wardrobe and like, grabbing more stuff and just getting more and more brutal with what I'm getting rid of because I need to be strict with myself. I made some signs, which I'm pretty proud of. Need cash for Eras Tour ticks. Um, there's rumors that they're gonna come out like soonish for Australia and I need money in the bank ready. So help me, I'm poor. Lots of Taylor Swift going on. You leaving my store with your cute vines. Fun. Um, this is a bag full of coat hangers that I went and bought from Kmart um, because you have to supply your own hangers. Um, you get all the racks and like the whole setup. But yeah, that's the setup so far. Yeah, I wanted to bring you along, show you the whole process of running a stall um, at any market, I suppose. So I will see you very bright and early in the morning, probably with much less energy than I have right now. <laughs> what a beautiful day here in Melbourne. We're kind of early and we just set up everything in like, I think like an hour. Yeah. And priced everything. It's very loud. Because we're by a road, but I can't really vlog in there because there's music on and I'll get copyrighted. But we've got about an hour to kill. So, we're gonna go get some food. Go get some breakfast. We made a TikTok. I'll insert the TikTok. Okay, well, that's interesting. You know why? Why? Because... Maybe we'll make another one. Maybe. We're Maybe killing we'll... it. We're a good team. Anyway, breakfast time and then it'll be market time. about the market has finished it was a great success made some dollars had a good time actually went really really quick um and yeah it was a really good vibe had lots of fun i have just been home got changed to the second fit of the day 
and I'm just walking to meet Sarah. We're gonna go for a little afternoon bev and we are gonna do our mood boarding, which we do, this is very like, this is girly of me, but like once a quarter-ish, <laughs> so like every three months. And we basically just make um, like a mood board, vision board of our sort of goals and dreams. And yeah, we like to just update it now and again because there's things hopefully that we can take off what we put on before. I'm really out of breath and walking uphill, it's really bad. Yeah, there's things we can tick off that we've achieved or there might be new things that we want that we didn't want three months ago. And it's just a really fun activity to do together, get together on a Saturday afternoon, have a couple of little drinks. <sighs> oh my God, I need to go out to the gym. But yeah, that's where I'm heading now and I will see you there when I get to Sess. The last thing I spoke to you about was going to meet Sarah to do our mood boarding, which we did do and was lovely and great. I did show you a couple of clips of that, feeling inspired. But before that, we did accidentally go thrifting and both had very a very successful thrifting session, which is just very typical that the one time that we didn't actually plan to go out and thrift and buy anything, there was so much good stuff. And then there's times where you go wanting to spend money and buy stuff and there's nothing. Anyway, um, I wanted to give you a little haul. Uh, I couldn't yesterday, unfortunately, because it gets dark so early now, but uh, it's now the daytime and I'm going to show you what I found. Before I do that, I'm gonna insert a photo somewhere. Uh, I put this on my Instagram story as well, but the weirdest thing happened at the first thrift shop I went to. I was in there waiting for Sarah to arrive and I found this jacket that was kind of cool, so I picked it up to have a look on the tag of the jacket was um, Virgo, which is my star sign. And I was like, oh, that's really weird, I'm a Virgo, cool. As I picked it up, behind it, there was another jacket that literally had my entire name, my full name written, like as the, the brand, I guess, of the jacket or the designer of the jacket. I actually felt, I felt like shaky and a bit like, it was just so weird. Cause my name is not, um, like obviously Walker's quite, whatever, fairly common, but like even growing up, you know, you're trying to find your name on like key rings and like toys and stuff. They never had LM, like it's not a, common name but i've met maybe like one other ellen in my life it's not it's not a common name at all and it's just i don't know it was just so weird that one that those two things were together and then i found them very odd experience anyway no one cares but i just thought it was weird i'm gonna give you a haul of what i got because as i said it was very successful first of all i got this little lacy top it's just like a long sleeved lace top um it's like v-neck with the little buttons at the front um, it's originally from Shein, so it's not very good quality or anything like that, but um, I just thought it'd be cute and handy to go over a little bralette or layer. I feel like I'm often uh, wishing I had like a just a real simple, a real simple lace kind of crop. Um, that was $5. Bit steep for Shein, Shein, however you say it, but whatever. Um, this one was $7 and this is a forever new skirt, which is like a fairly decent brand. You're not gonna be able to see it well on this slide, but it's basically a high-waisted midi, midi to maxi skirt. Um, and it's just a really nice kind of flowy, silky material with like a bit of a, an even sort of hemline. Just nice and floaty, flowy. Um, I thought this would be handy for kind of more formal fits or even just day to day. I can kind of dress this up, dress it down. Um, just having like a comfortable black midi skirt, I just feel like is pretty handy. I got these pantaloons, which are, um, I was talking to Sarah about it and apparently this is like quite a classic Australian brand called Roger David. Um, they're like 100% wool, very structured tailored pants. I think these are like actually some old man's work trousers once upon a time, but um, they fit kind of cool, like a bit loose and baggy, kind of sort of, uh, sort of sit on my hips, which I quite like. Um, and they're just like gray pinstriped, straight leg trousers with like the pleat down the front, 
just a really nice tailored pair of trousers. I thought they'd be great for work, um, or kind of like a like a structured tailored kind of fit. Um, and yeah, really comfortable, 100% wool, really good material. Um, and they were in the half price section, so they were only seven dollars, which is delightful. Um, I got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. These ones are key. I wasn't sure at first whether these were a bit mummy, but I think they're kind of cool. I mean, I have no makeup on right now and I look a bit like a mess, but I thought like they could be a vibe. And they were $10, which is a bit steep for an op shop, but good for key, I guess, because they're quite pricey sunnies. And then these are just no brand. These were $5, but just like a little pair of black, just a little chic, cheeky deeky moment. I always complain that I don't have enough pairs of sunglasses because I feel like they really elevate an outfit and are like a really good accessory. Um, and I have like one pair, maybe two max that I actually like. So I just want to know a few other pairs to accessorize with. Oh, this skirt is um, not quite midi, it's kind of knee length, but I love the color of it. And it's just kind of like a cute green and gray checkered pattern. This really reminded me of um, an influencer called Zig's Mum. Um, based here in Australia. It just really reminded me of her style and something she would wear and it kind of just inspired me to maybe create a fit similar to, to what she wears. Um, just kind of cute wholesome vibes. I thought maybe with some like boots like this with my cowboy boots and a cute little top. That could be a vibe. It's, it was a little bit big on the waist um, so I'm gonna see if I could like wearing it sort of like again a bit on the hips or whether I want to just bring in the waist a tiny bit. Probably like one size too big. But yeah I thought that was cute. I really like the colours in it. How much were you, sir? Ten dollars. Couple more things. First of all, this top. The brand is uh, Sex Kitten, which is very interesting. This was seven dollars. I think it's quite a cheap brand, but um, it's giving me nineties, maybe Rachel from Friends energy. It's like a cross crossover neckline, V neckline. It comes in like under the bust, and then it's kind of floaty, and it's this really pretty like mesh overlay that's got all this coloured um, embroidery on it, like floral embroidery. This is very 90s vibes, with like the mirror insides. I feel like I've definitely seen this before in my childhood, in my youth. Um, I just thought that could be cute for like going out for dinner, going out for drinks, maybe even paired with that black skirt and some little heels, little coloured bag, cute. That was $7, did I say that? Can't remember. And then I got this for $11, last of my clothing purchases. Just a collared pink shirt. It's kind of almost checkered sort of pattern, if you can see that. Um, I'm just quite into the fitted shirts at the moment. Quite a fun style, and I love the colour of this. I think it's really pretty. Just this with like some jeans, even like some nice jeans. I feel like it's very effortlessly, effortlessly. Why does that sound weird? Effortlessly, yeah. Uh, put together with the sunnies, with my pinstripe pants. Yes, it is a moment. And then last but not least is actually a piece of homeware, which I don't really often thrift. Because we are, are we rent, I almost think I don't put enough effort into like my home decor and um, like styling of my home. Cause I can't, obviously we can't paint, we can't make any actual changes to the home. Um, but I want to start getting like nice little ornamenty, trinkety kind of homely things to add to the home. So I think it's still important to make your home feel like a home. You know what I mean? So. I was actually looking online for some uh, like long tapered candles and holders and I, then I found these. There's two of these in the set and they're just really pretty glass, I'm assuming, candlestick holders. So I have two of them in a little set. They were three dollars each um, and so I want to get some really cool tapered candles. There's some that I've seen in different like pastel colours and they're like different shapes or like little swirls. So I thought a couple of little pastel candles in these on the dining table like when we have people over for dinner i just thought that'd be really cute so yeah i want to start looking more at thrifting home stuff only home stuff i've really thrifted before i like kitchen things like i got myself a gravy bow i got um like egg cups and stuff but i haven't really thrifted much decoration really happy with those three dollars each that was my accidental thrift haul the thrift gods were obviously shining down on me they showed me my name and i saw that as a sign it's going to be a good day. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this fun, very thrifty market vibey focused uh, vlog. I had a really great Saturday. 
um and thank you for coming along keeping me company i appreciate you if you're not already subscribed to my channel please press the subscribe button i film lots of kind of daily vlog um, or weekly vlog videos and fashion content specifically thrifting content styling um and i have much more fashion content on the way have ideas me and sarah have ideas and things to do together please subscribe please give this video a thumbs up please comment and let me know um if you liked what i thrifted and ideas of how to style this stuff uh, what you would have bought and how you would style it um i'm always looking for inspo so please 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 let me know i would love to hear from you and um yeah thanks again for being here and i will see you next time.